All right, so we're back for another episode, and we're talking about a job at Blockbuster, which was the best job ever. <laughs> right. And every day you would watch Dumb and Dumber, and every day it got Dumber and Dumber. <laughs> it, and then the Nintendo 64 and came out, so we were playing would... Mario Kart and playing GoldenEye 007. That was like my job. <laughs> Plus, you only worked a few hours a day. It wasn't like yeah, it was, a full time job. Yeah, it was 20 hours a week. I worked five, I think. Okay. It was like five hours, four days a week. And, and you I, would be late for work <laughs> until they had to fire you. Well, yeah. So they would, one time I remember I was laying in my bed, and you come in and you say, Mom. Mom, just get on the phone and say you forgot to wake me up, and it was your fault. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'd already, okay. had, I'd already had so many warnings about being late, so they had to fire yeah. me. So, yeah, they had to fire you. So they, I get on the phone, and there's somebody from Blockbuster, and they said, hello? And I said, hello, I'm Jason's mom. It was my fault. I didn't wake him up. Okay, that's fine. He's hired back, then. it was your fault. <laughs> I was like, See? <laughs> yeah, so they hired you back because it was my fault and I didn't wake you up. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm good. Um, so, and that was going to be like, you loved it so much, that was going to be like your life. Yeah, you you were career. just living a life. That was a good career. I was there for like maybe six months because it was probably from when I came back and like, December until the summer, and Jeff had me come out during the summer, I think. Yeah, and so... But, yeah. but wait, I want to tell one other story about Blockbuster. I, oh, okay. I remember this day, like, because I normally uh, worked at night from, like, oh, uh, well, what was it? Maybe, like, 6 o'clock, 10 o'clock, or something like that. And, to close. Yeah. So midnight. So, so I'd been out partying the night before, and... And woke up, like, I probably went to sleep at, like, 3, and then I woke up at, like, 6.30 in the morning, but I thought it was 6.30 at night, and I was late to work, and I get up and get all ready, and it, and it was just the right time of day where, you know, the sun was coming up, but it kind of, right. like it was going down, so it really looked like it was at the right time of day, and then I'm driving to work, and I'm all groggy, I'm like, man, I was really partied hard last night, and... <laughs> and 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 I remember in retrospect there was like school buses that were going by, and, <laughs> and but I was just thinking, oh, they must have, you know, they're going to some basketball game at night or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I get to work, and Blockbuster didn't even open up until like ten in the morning. So I get there, and all oh, the windows are all fogged up, and I'm like, oh my god, what happened? And there's no one in the parking lot, and uh, and the doors locked. I'm like, oh my god, that's when it finally hit me. I'm like, it is 6.30 in the morning. In the morning. And I drove all the way there. It was like 10 miles away. Oh, buddy. And I'd drive back home, go to bed. No way to be in late again. <laughs> oh, that's it's hard funny. to be on time when you have to report to work at 6.30 in the evening. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's really rough. <laughs> oh, funny, funny. So then... So, uh, Jeff, your uncle, hires you, and um, then all he said, if it wasn't for me, you'd be, still be working a blockbuster, watching Dumb and Dumber, yeah. and you were it all your life. For, t for ten years. I worked for over ten years. <laughs> for ten years. <laughs> still be a blockbuster. Don't forget. <laughs> yep. And then I was always getting fired, because I, I am not a morning... Oh, yeah. So I I would have to be there at eight o'clock in the morning, you, and I you just couldn't make it. I still can't wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. If I had to work at my current job and be there at eight o'clock in the morning, then I would be fired. But I, I, I here's what I used to get um, courtesy call. I used to get a phone call. Yeah, Shireen, this is a courtesy call. You're my sister, and this is just a courtesy. <laughs> Jason is fired. He is fired. I'm like, oh, well, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. you. Go ahead and fire him. I don't, you know, I I don't have no hard feelings. You've done all you could do for him. Well, I just want you to know, 
you're my sister, and this is courtesy call. And as soon as I get home, he's fired. He'd be in the airport coming, you know, going back to Nebraska. Yeah. That's it. You know, I'm waiting to hear. Yeah, and then, you and then the talk. I talked to you, and, yeah. and have you talked to Jeff? Yeah. Did he say anything? No. He's fine. <laughs> yeah. So by the time he got to Nebraska, he cooled down. Yeah, I'm and nothing glad. was ever said to you. Yeah, I'm glad he called you and bent on you. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> that boy, he just needs to go to Blockbuster. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Send him home. Uh, yep, I was always. Uh, I went through this about two or th- how many times were you fired? Uh, a lot, and then I was on <laughs> probation. I was on a probation for a year, probably. <laughs> Because I couldn't get to work on time. He's like, all right, that's it. You have right. to work on time. If you're late again, you're fired. And I'd wake up at like 8.30. I'm like, oh, great. I'm going to be fired. <laughs> so sometimes I'd wake up late and I'd just call in sick. Be like, all right, well, I'm sick. I can't come to work today. <laughs> so that, that was kind of like, get me out of being late. I'm not late. I'm calling in sick. <laughs> and then i run out of sick days. And then I'd start being late. And, you know, he would thinking that the, th- the threat of death would make me wake up, but I just can't wake up. I'd sleep through my... I would tell about all your alarms and your backup alarms. And I'd have a, one alarm by my bed, one a alarm, dual bed, alarm bed, clock. bed. Yeah. Trying to wake myself up, but I just couldn't wake up. I would sleep through blaring alarms for like an hour. And <laughs> it, my roommates would come into my room at the, at the time. I had roommates with Eric and Larry, I think, and they'd be like, don't you hear the alarms going off? They'd, like, shake my bed, and I'd wake up, like, what? Don't you hear the alarms? I was like, oh, no. <laughs> you like, never woke up to an alarm in your life. I know. You, me and you. you yep, I was, your, I was your alarm. I'd have to wake, wake up to school. It'd be you yelling from the other room, Jason, get up. You get up. <laughs> and I, I was as lazy as you, so I would yell from my room to your room. Jason, I don't hear nothing moving in there. I don't hear, nothing I don't hear any movement. I don't hear nothing moving in there. You get up first. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't know how we made it to school or work. I <laughs> don't dumb and dumber. <laughs> Uh, you get up now, Mom. You get up. Yeah. <laughs> I funny. still have a hard time getting up. I can't get to work either. Yep. I, early. I, I couldn't either if I had to work at 8. So my current job, I get to work noon to 9, and that is just perfect. So. Perfect for you. Yep. And, Some people are smart morning people. I never was. Yep, neither am I. I know where I got it from. Yep. Never a morning person. So, what's, all right. So I think for the, the next episode, we'll talk about the uh, the grand finale story. The FBI? Yeah, the, the FBI. FBI story? Oh, yeah, because we've skipped all over the place on that one. Yeah, so this is already going to be the end of this episode. And... I'll put an annotation on the screen. You can click it to go to the next episode, and we will be back for the next one.